Here's a gun control ad with a senator named Jason Kanders. And, well, I don't like it. Here, let's analyze it. I'm Jason Kanders, and Senator Blunt has been attacking me on guns. Well, as seen below, you aren't exactly for gun rights, as you say you are, when it comes to ca caster doctrine, concealed carry, and being able to carry in campus, so... Senator Blunt's got you there. Well, in the Army, I learned how to use and respect my rifle. Why do these gun control types always bring up their time in the military? Like, what the hell does military service have to do with civilian gun ownership? It's civilian gun ownership. Not military gun ownership or use. Civilian gun ownership. Soldiers don't even own their weapons, that they belong to the armory of this state. So, there's no valid comparison. In Afghanistan, I'd volunteer to be an extra gun in a convoy of unarmored SUVs. That's nice, but once again, irrelevant. And in the state legislature, I supported Second Amendment rights. That's completely contrary to what this says, but... Mm. I also believe in background checks, so that terrorists can't get their hands on one of these. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Is this guy for real? Is this fucking asshole for real? I support background checks so the terrorists can't get their hands on one of these. That is absolutely fucking moronic. Uh, hello? Terrorists have weapons anyway, okay? And we already have background checks, and the AR-15 is shit to terrorists who have full autos, made past 1986. Oh yeah, and by the way, the Hughes Amendment, you can't get full autos made past 1986. Terrorists can since they break the rules and live in a totally different region in the US, but let's forget about that and act like we don't have background checks at all, and that anyone can just get an AR-15. I mean, yeah, what, what, let's act like that. I approve this message. Because I'd like to see Senator Blunt do this. Okay, being able to fill and assemble a rifle blindfolded. Yeah, being able to assemble a rifle blindfolded. I have to admit, that's pretty cool. But that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant to this entire topic of gun rights. It's like, I'd like to see Senator Blunt do that. Well, so what if he can't? So what if I can't? We have the right to own guns regardless of us being able to blindfold blindly assemble and field strip them, okay? That's that's not relevant. I'm not sure there are too many gun owners that can do that. Like I, I bet most gun owners they know the basics of of using and maintaining their weapon, but I doubt a lot of them know how to field strip them. But either way, that's relevant. We have the right to own guns, whatever weapons we choose. I mean, come on. That this is ridiculous. No, I do not want Jason Kander for U.S. Senate. I don't want anyone for U.S. Senate, you know, in fact, since I'm an ANCAP. But I especially don't want Jason Kander since, well, Democrat. He's a Democrat. And those guys suck balls even more. Those guys suck more balls than Republicans do. So, no, I don't want him for Senate. I don't want anyone for Senate. Please don't have this guy for Senate, because, you know, Democrat. So that's the video. It was moronic. It was moronic of the senator to act like he's for gun rights, when he really isn't. When he voted against expanding Castro Doctrine, and being able to carry guns in campus, and taking a blow to concealed carry. Yeah, it's not really for gun rights, as he like us to believe. But anyways, that's the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and watch my other stuff if you want to. Yeah. Bye.